Hey everyone, what's going on? It's B. Avery here for another trailer reaction. This one is for 20th Century Fox Deadpool 2, the trailer. This is actually the third trailer. They're calling it the trailer. Um, it just seems kind of weird. But I am excited for this movie, so let me go ahead and put on these headphones. And you guys can stop listening to me talk and watch me watch this trailer. Here we go. Actually, that may have been me. Oh, you're living the dreams, DP. Yeah. Devil me care attitude. <laughs> Strong guys. Beautiful girlfriend. Sorry I'm late. I was rounding up all the gluten in the world and launching <laughs> in space where it can't not hurt us ever again. Kiss me like you miss me, Red. Shit, I saw her first time, right? What's up, Cable? What in the fuxicle is this? My name's Cable. I'm here for the kid. What? The kid? Move or die. Mm. 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 Alright. Kids give us a chance to be better than we used to be. He needs you. You're a lot smarter than I look. <laughs> I ain't letting Cable kill this kid. But I can't do this alone. Can you speak up? It's hard to hear you with that pity dick in your mouth. We're gonna form a super Xavier? duper fucking group. We need them tough, morally flexible, and young enough to carry their own franchise for 10 to 12 years. We will be known as X-Force. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. Now, let's go get our fuck on. Don't call it a comeback! Tell me they got that in slow motion. Doing the right thing is messy. But if you want to fight for what's right, sometimes you have to fight dirty. Oh. That is why Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants is pure pornography. Oh, God, I wish I finished college. It lives up to the hype, plus plus. Fuck it, they probably won't even make a three. Yeah, why would they? Stop it, too. You killed it. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Give me one second. Okay. You probably wonder, like, B, what you doing? What you going back and had to look at? There was something in the trailer that turned me off uh, a lot, and I didn't show any uh, facial expressions, I don't think. Um, and to be honest with you, it's Cable. Um, I liked him in the earlier material, but this trailer right here, I'm just not feeling Josh Brolin at all. Um, not only, I mean, of course we got to wait till the movie comes out to see how everything plays out. Uh, he may do a phenomenal job, but just for some reason, he was like, Hey, I'm after the kid. I'm just like, I, I don't know. It just didn't, it didn't come across right now. You know, he seems like a badass in the other universe, you know, MCU with Thanos and all that, with that trailer dropping last Friday. But with this one right here, I don't know. It was just something about Cable that I just wasn't feeling. Um, I mean, when he was hanging off the building too, I don't know. That just didn't that just didn't seem right with me. Um, but everything else seemed cool. The action, I, I'm really looking forward to uh, Deadpool pulling out his katana source and just going ham on some people. It looked like he was fighting two guys like in a sauna or a pool or jacuzzi or something like that. So I can't wait to see that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be funny. Um, but what it was, it was something else that like, that, that turned me down, that turned me off as well. What was it? That joke, I don't, I, I don't know what, what's wrong with me. Maybe, um, I got sidetracked. Now, Domino, I think that is, um, the girl 
that or young woman that is in Atlanta right now as uh, Donald Glover's uh, Childish Gamb- aka Childish Gambino's girlfriend, Zazie Beats. Let me. I'm I'm looking up her filmographer right now. I'm looking at a picture. I'm pretty sure it's her. Yep, she is in Atlanta. Okay. Now I'm even more excited to see this movie. I mean, I knew she. I knew uh, Domino was in uh, Deadpool from the previous trailers and you know news and stuff like that that was released, but. Okay, you know, I really like uh, I really like her in Atlanta. Zazzy Beats. Okay, what's up, girl? You are now on my radar. Okay, so um what else about this trailer? I don't know. Hold on. It was something right here when he was talking about X Force. I, I don't I don't know. We got there was Xavier right there. Um what was it? Was it just cable that I wasn't feeling? I don't know. Um, I can't. I don't. And I'm. I'm just. I just watched it. It was. It was something else that just really, um, really just turned me off with this trailer. I mean, it looked good for the most part, but you know, in the previous two trailers, I was laughing my butt off from beginning to end. Ooh, and an hour and an, oh my god, I can't wait to see that. This one right here. Um, that's what it is. The music. I don't know what is wrong with me. The I, the music sucked. That's what it was. And I was just like, I, I, you know, yeah. Okay. So we got this trailer cable. I wasn't feeling him in the music. I don't know why that was so hard for me to register and just say that, but you know, I'm still going to see the movie, of course. Um, hopefully, uh, no, we, we, we'll see. We'll see now. Um, I was I was really feeling the first two trailers, but this one right here, um, I wasn't like I said because of cable and of um, of the music. Um, but something else that really frustrates me is the fact that 20th Century Fox moved this up to May 18th. I just think that was just so stupid of them to do that. I just don't understand. I mean, it, it was gonna be two weeks right after the Avengers, but of course they moved it up to April 27th, so it's three weeks. But then you competing right there with Star Wars, um, the Solo movie, uh, the Solo Star Wars movie or whatever, Han Solo. I mean, I, this Disney move Han Solo to August, 20th Century Fox, you move yours back to June where it was and let's space these things out. Um, but guys, I am, um, and how much do I think this is going to make real quick? I'm on um, Box Office Mojo right now. Seven hundred eighty-three million dollars worldwide was the first one, off of a fifty-eight million dollar budget. So, what do y'all think? That, what did it open to? One hundred and thirty-two million. I should have known that off the top of my head since Black Panther beat that in the record. But what do you guys think this is going to make worldwide? If it is, if it's better than the first one. If it's better than the first one, it has a chance of making a billion dollars. If it's better than the first one, universally, um, if it's as good as as the um, first one, it'll probably make like 800, 850 or whatever. But guys, that is just my opinion for the Deadpool trailer, Deadpool 2, the trailer. Um, you got my reaction, you got my review, and I just wasn't as thrilled as I was with the previous two trailers. Um, but what did you think? Did you like the trailer? Did you hate it? Did it turn you on? Did it turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it, and also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash reaction slash review for the Deadpool 2, the trailer trailer and before you go don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my opinion. Peace.